Hey, my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. The fact that SZA and Drake have teased towards a collaboration has social media in a frenzy. Yes, these two decided to twin up and post the same thing on their Instagram, which is a picture of Holly Berry getting slime at the Kids' Choice Awards back in 2012, which is kind of insinuating and a lot of fans are speculating that these two are about to come out with a collaboration. Of course, they're trying to get their fans hype and that's why they posted the same thing. Now, I am kind of assuming here and I'm assuming the name or the title of this song, but I'm thinking it's probably about to be called like slime or something like that. Like it has to relate to the photo somehow or maybe Holly Berry. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Let's go ahead and move on to this interview that Tyrese did with The Breakfast Club because boy did it get a little messy, right? So recently The Breakfast Club decided to do an interview with Tyrese and it seemed like things were going seemingly well but then Tyrese decided to confront The Breakfast Club about some of the things that they've said about him during the years of them having the show and for them not being there for him, hitting him up or checking on him when he was going through some real life hardships for example his divorce and him battling to be mentally stable dj envy decides to tell him that he didn't check on him because he didn't like that tyrese was texting his wife disrespectfully envy says that this happened some years ago and he never mentioned it because he correlated the text messages that tyrese was sending to his mental illness at the time and also Envy's wife was being understanding and she said that look Tyrese is dealing with some mental things and that's why he was texting the way that he was deserved for Tyrese to get and I quote his mouth boxed okay that's what Envy had to say to Tyrese of course things got a little crazy because it was like Envy was in a way for lack of better words on YouTube threatening if you guys know what I mean Tyrese in a way and we almost thought a fight was going to break out on the breakfast club but gladly things were calmed down and resolved by the end of the interview that's what it seemed like now later on Tyrese decides to get home and he decides to go on Instagram live and further talk about his interview with the breakfast club and how he felt and he said that he just wishes all of them the best of luck especially Jess Hilarious because he felt like Jess Hilarious was the only one in the room who really understood where he was coming from and he gets very emotional during this Instagram live talking about all of the people who he felt like wasn't there for him in his time of need. Later on, DJ Envy gets back on The Breakfast Club to talk about the whole Tyrese interview. And he says that he feels like Tyrese is using this whole mental illness thing as a facade, as a cover up for things that he says and for his actions. Now, this whole situation, like I said, is very, very messy. And I feel like the Breakfast Club has always been a little messy, but I feel like sometimes they be getting messier and messier, especially with DJ Envy. Like he just got into something with Rick Ross and now he's getting into something with Tyrese. I honestly felt bad that Tyrese really got emotional about that interview and the fact that he was saying that he was there for DJ Envy when DJ Envy was going through hardships with his wife. So that's why he expected DJ Envy as a good friend to be there for him when he seen that he was going through stuff but Tyrese is saying all he seen was them talking about him on The Breakfast Club and first of all I will have to say I think for any celebrity I don't think it's really that great to try to be friends or you know buddies with any type of journalist any type of blogger I mean even if you've known them for years even if you feel like you have a good relationship behind the scenes you have to understand that person is always going to put their job first and if they got some tea on you they are going to spill that before they're going to check on you or be cool with you they're going to put their job first they're going to put the money first and that's happened in multiple situations but i do think that dj envy definitely should have confronted tyrese in the moment that he felt like tyrese was disrespecting his wife I feel like why bring it up now just because tyrese is confronting you about the problem that he has with you you should have confronted it back then and if you didn't confront it back then you shouldn't be confronting it now that's what I feel like so I feel like DJ Envy was wrong within the situation it just seems like he didn't want to own up to the fact that he wasn't being the best of friend or a good friend to Tyrese because why try to deflect from what Tyrese is bringing up and bring up your own problems or what you had a problem with it's like he couldn't really even address what he did wrong but i'm gonna automatically just assume that dj envy just 
does not like Tyrese and he does not want to be cool with him the way that Tyrese thought that he liked him. He thought Tyrese obviously, like I said, thought that him and DJ Envy and people in the Breakfast Club were actually friends. But it seems like DJ Envy is like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not cool with you. Don't expect me to check on you or be cool with you. That's just what it seems like in all honesty to me. And it further shows the fact that DJ Envy decided to get back on the show and talk about Tyrese some more and say that he feels like his mental illness is a facade. Those are some very, very strong words. And a friend, of course, a real friend is not going to say that about another friend but you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below now let's go ahead and move on to tory lanes now tory lanes we recently got information that he was denied bond so it looks like he is going to have to serve that 10 years now we know that tory lanes was asking the judge to allow him to live with his son and his new wife and i didn't even know that tory lanes decided to marry his baby mother i'm gonna go ahead and assume that he just was not trying to get deported now we also got the information from the reporter and editor that has been telling us about this whole court case as it goes along on Twitter that he allegedly said something very insulting towards her before he went back in police custody. She said, I didn't hear it and I'm still working to see if your transcript has it, but I've confirmed Tory Lanez chose to use his final courtroom moments to profanely insult me, calling me a googly-eyed B-I-T-C-H as he looked at the gallery conflicting reports on whether he named me. And she said, a fitting end. Now, if Tory Lanez actually did say that, like I said, like super, super disrespectful, he probably feels like he has nothing to lose at this point. That's why he said that. But like I said, still very, very super, super disrespectful. Let's go ahead and move into our last topic, which is going to be Sierra. Now, Sierra recently did an epic interview with The Shade Room. Shout out to The Shade Room. Great interview with Sierra, right? Sierra answered most of the questions that she was asked, like any other celebrity would do. But when the question popped up about her co-parenting relationship with her first baby daddy, future all she could do is laugh i mean sierra just would not answer this question on how co-parenting is with the future she was just laughing she told the interviewer that she was funny and then they had to move on to the next question now with sierra doing that little laugh that little giggle i mean that answered a lot i mean it actually said a lot more than words can say i think we can all kind of imagine how co-parenting is with future and i only say that because and no disrespect towards future because future has name dropped her husband russell wilson in a couple of songs since these two have been over so it seems like future is still bitter about the situation that happened between him and sierra and the fact that she has moved on because he has decided to diss sierra a lot of his other exes and russell wilson as well which i don't really feel like was his place he should just focus on co-parenting but i'm pretty sure that it is rough behind the scenes i can only imagine okay but you guys let me know what you think about all of these topics my lovely tts in the comment section once again thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and like i always say i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night